Morning, guys. Hey, you know I've been thinking a little bit about sticking up for yourself and sticking up for others. Uh, you know, here is in America, the only thing that American farriers have that separate us from each other are our credentials and our accomplishments. We don't have anything else because our education system is whack. So without being a certified guy or a journeyman or an AW or an FW, you're really nothing. You're nothing. You're just a horseshoer, nothing else. So until you learn how to separate yourself through your accomplishments, you're just run of the mill horseshoer. What gets to me is when I see really, really accomplished guys lay over and take it up the butt. As a certified guy, it's your responsibility to know everything there is to know from the horse's knee and the horse's hock down. As a journeyman, it's your responsibility to know everything from the shoulder to the pelvis down. And you're supposed to be able to stand up and defend yourself when you have a trainer or a veterinarian that's feeding you bad information. If you have a veterinarian coming to you talking about chopping toes off and putting on heels and all kinds of goofy shit because the horse has a negative pasture angle, broke back angle, whatever, and you know in your heart that it's wrong, and you're a certified journeyman farrier, you need to act like it. Tell the veterinarian no. Tell the trainer no. No, it's wrong. It's anatomically incorrect. And I won't do it. Until you guys learn how to stand up for yourselves, your CF and your CJF don't mean a goddamn thing. And furthermore, when you're in a barn and you hear on the other aisle somebody running down your buddy because he won't do something, back his play. If he's an accomplished farrier and you trust his judgment and you trust his shoeing, and you think someone's put, putting words in his mouth or going to make a mess of a horse, and maybe he might end up losing the client because he's defending himself, back his play. Veterinarians back each other up all the time. Every time that I work in a multi-farrier vet practice, I always hear, well, you know, we support each other. American farriers don't support each other. Bunch of cowards. It's embarrassing. If you guys want to be respected and treated with respect for your accomplishments and everything that you've done in your life, whether it's certified farrier, journeyman, AW, national champion of the AFA, national champion of the WCB, act like it. Act like you're a champion. Act like you're a highly educated, highly competent farrier. Back each other up. We're all we got.